Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to another week of Prep, Cook, Plate, Repeat. This week's episode, we're going to make a lamb birria Mexican stew. Stay tuned to check it out. All right, guys. So first thing we're going to need to make this stew is a nice piece of shank. I have lamb shank here. Normally, this stew is made with goat. But uh, I like lamb, it's got a better gamier taste. It's really, really nice. This stew originates from Jalisco and Tijuana. Normally when they make this stew, it's, uh, it's made with tacos. You can do it two ways. You can do it with tacos or you can do just a consomme. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna clean this shank a little bit. We're gonna take some of this silver skin right off and this tendon. We wanna take these tendons off because we don't want that in our stew. That's not gonna break down when it braises. So we're just gonna clean it up a little bit. See any of this, this silver skin, this fascia, as they call it? Take this fascia right off, just like that. Now this baby is probably gonna brace for a good two hours. We're gonna uh, show you how to make the chili sauce. We're gonna show you how to make the broth. We're gonna show you how to make everything. So it's gonna be really, really flavorful. All right. Almost done with getting this stuff right off. Now, by the time this is done, you're going to be able to pull the meat right off of that shank, right? That's the fore shank. That's the front of the lamb that we're using today. As you can also see up from above, this right here, that's bone marrow. That's also known as bone marrow. Every animal that has a bone, even us, mammals, they, we all have marrow inside. This is going to give this to a lot, a lot of flavor. So we're going to keep that in there. All right. Let's get a little bit of this right off here. Just like that. Okay. Looks pretty good to me. Leave the fat because that's going to be flavor. We don't got to worry about the fat. So we'll discard this. All righty. So next thing we're going to need, we're going to need one cinnamon stick. We need three cloves. Three garlic cloves. Tablespoon of sesame seeds, white. Not toasted. Do not toast. I got two bay leaves. I have one inch of ginger. I got one tablespoon of cumin seeds, toasted. And I have here a tablespoon of Mexican oregano. Very important to use Mexican oregano. The, me the oregano that you find in supermarkets, not that really good. It's not that good, not that flavorful. This ha is potent, has a lot of flavor. Really good stuff. And then here I got eight allspice berries, peppercorns. And, and half of a white onion and some salt and some pepper. So now, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cook these chilies. So here I have four different chilies. I have 10 guajillo, which is about two on the spice level. Here I have chili negro. These are two chili negros here, okay? Here I have three pasilla. And I have one ancho here. And then these are the 10 guajillo right here, beautiful. So we're gonna take these, we're gonna jump over to the stove. We're gonna cook these in olive oil, right? Do not use extra virgin, use regular blended olive oil because we, we don't want it to taste extra virgin-y. We want a bland olive oil, regular blended oil will be fine because we want these babies to release their flavor. So we're just gonna throw them in there and then we're gonna throw them into water once they're sauteed, right? So we'll be right back to show you that. All right guys, so we got our pan, olive oil, nice hot. We're gonna go right in with our chilies. You see that, you wanna see that sear right there. That's what you wanna hear. We're gonna throw in all of our chilies besides the guajillo. We're gonna leave those because there's 10 of them. We're gonna cook those last. We don't wanna crowd the pan because instead of frying, it'll steam them. All right, that's all of them there, beautiful. Let's get some tongs right in. You hear that right there? That's what you wanna hear. There you go. Beautiful, careful now, don't burn yourself. All right, you wanna saute these for about Four to five minutes. You don't want to put color on them. You just want to get them almost rehydrated. All right? So we're going to cook these for about four minutes. We'll be right back. All right, guys. As you can see, these chilies started to get a little color, which is perfect, right? I got a bowl of water right here. I'm going to throw those bad boys right into the water. Perfect. Next, we're going to go right in with the guajillos. Put them all in there. Beautiful. Just watch the temperature of the oil. Again, we're toasting, we're not burning, we're toasting. Beautiful. Same thing, we're gonna let these go for about four minutes and let them toast up and be right back. 
All right, guys, so our chilies are all ready. We're putting them in this beautiful water. We're just letting them rehydrate again in that water. Be careful now with this oil splatting. Okay, so keep our chili submerged in water. That's also gonna help them rehydrate. Okay, we're gonna take this oil and we're gonna put it to the side right now. We're not gonna discard that, we're gonna leave that. That's gonna be used for garnish later on. Very important here, I got cold water. Very important you use cold water. You do not use hot water when we're gonna throw this lamb chank inside of it. What's gonna end up happening is that it's gonna kind of you're gonna throw it into hot water and the shank is gonna tighten up and it's not gonna braise properly. You want to start from cold. Also, it's gonna help with, with extracting all the impurities of the lamb. That's gonna come up to the top and we're gonna take our little skimmer, we're gonna skim off all those impurities. All that scum is gonna come right off. So we're gonna bring this to a boil, down to simmer. And while that's working, we're gonna start working on our sauce. So we'll be right back. All right, guys, so now our lamb is on the stove. I actually forgot to mention, I threw in half of an onion and three cloves of garlic in there as well, just so you guys know that. All right, so now lamb's cooking. We're gonna start our chili sauce that's gonna go into that lamb. So we're gonna go inside with all of our beautiful chilies right in. Don't worry about if you don't get all that water out because we're gonna use this chili water to emulsify everything. So we don't discard that. Beautiful, wow, that smells so good. All right, so we got three cloves of garlic right in. Two, excuse me, three uh, cloves, regular cloves. One cinnamon stick, go right in. Tablespoon of sesame seeds. We got two bay leaves. One pinch of ginger. Eight allspice berries. Tablespoon of Mexican oregano and a tablespoon of cumin seeds. And that is, excuse me, uh, yeah, it is cumin seeds. Cumin seeds toasted. All righty, we're gonna throw a little bit of salt for flavor. Bring all that beautifulness together. And we're gonna throw in some pepper right in as well. Beautiful. All righty, now carefully. Let's grab a ladle here. We're not rookies, we're pros. Right inside. Ladle that. Sauce right into your blender. If you don't have a blender, you could probably use a RoboCoop. I suggest a blender because you want this to be really liquefied, really emulsified. Let's split this baby up. Alrighty, let's check her out, see how she looks. See that right there? It's a little thick. We're just gonna thin that out just a bit. Let's put a little bit more of this liquid right in. Beautiful. Give it one more blitz. Beautiful. Now, we're gonna take this off. We're gonna take a colander. Your best bet if you have a colander or a fine, a fine mesh uh, screen or chinois uh, for my restaurant people out there. Uh, use a fine mesh strainer. You're gonna take this liquid. You're gonna pour it over into the water where the lamb is. Right. You're gonna. You're gonna leave the pulp. The reason we're using this is because we don't want all that pulp that's in here. Kind of want just the liquid to go in there. So we're gonna uh, we're gonna put in a fine mesh. We're gonna put all that good stuff inside, and be right back. All right, guys. So I brought over the lamb so you can see how it's working. You see all these little impurities right there? You want to take that right out. All this scum right here. You don't want that. You want a nice, clear consomme because that's what this this liquid right here is gonna turn into. As you can see, I have the garlic and the onions in there. But you want to be able to really take out those little pieces. You see that? Those little pieces in there? Just take that right out. Now, the water is going to get low on you, which is fine. You're just going to make sure that it's always above the lamb shank. Okay, so make sure you're just replenishing that water when it evaporates. And just do this throughout the entire cooking process just to get all those impurities out. 
Beautiful. Okay, next. We got a fine mesh strainer. Handy dandy spoon here. We're gonna pour this right over. As you can see, that's nice and thick. Let's start with a little bit first. And now, just like that, get all that stuff right out. I'm making this just because I was actually inspired. There's a uh, taco stand that I went to, just opened up, called Beerlandia. It's been there for maybe a few months. Got voted the best new place to go to eat, top 10 in New York. Went to go check it out. I've been obsessed ever since. And uh, I was like, you know what? I'm going to replicate their recipe. Just tweak it maybe a little bit with my touch. But uh, I love this style of, of beer, this style of taco that they make in Jalisco. Absolutely great. Now we're going to get all that stuff out. Now you see all that pulp that's here? We're going to discard that. We don't want that pulp. So move that out of the way. We're going to go in with the whole thing right here. This is, this is what's going to give our consomme flavor right here. All this. So you continue to process the same exact way. Beautiful. Smells amazing. Now you can always substitute the lamb. If you don't like lamb, you can do pork. You can do, you can do uh, meat. You know, you can even do chicken thighs if you really wanted to. If you don't, if you don't want to eat meat, you want to eat chicken. That's totally fine. But I think the best way to go with this is a nice gamey animal, just like goat or lamb. Best way pairs the best with the style. Okay, beautiful. See all that pulp is left behind? We don't want that. All righty, we're going to throw this back onto the stove, and we're going to cook this for a good two hours, two and a half hours, and we'll be checking on it constantly to make sure that this beautiful consomme doesn't evaporate on us. We're always replenishing the water, and then we'll check for salt and pepper. We'll be back in a little bit. All right, guys, so our lamb shank is done. Our sauce is nice. Look at that beautiful, beautiful, deep, rich color from those chilies, from the lamb. Oh my God, it's beautiful. We got a little bit of oil here that we just want to skim off, just like that. Wow, it smells amazing, man. I'm so happy I made this. This tastes delicious. This is definitely gonna be a party pleaser, this dish right here, man. All right, take a little bit of that off. Beautiful. All right, next thing we want to do I want to remove the shank from here. It's a big boy. Be careful. Look at that right there. My goodness. Alrighty. Beautiful. Let's put this to the side. Okay. Now, we've got a tongue in one hand and a knife in the other. And we're just going to take away at this meat right here. Look at that. It just comes right off right off that meat is so braised look at that literally just come right off you should be able to see that bone see how that meat pulls away from that bone that's telling me that it's beautifully braised okay and if you got a dog you can get the bone to the dog this is the best part or you can have the bone for yourself whatever you like okay now just with my tongs i'm going to kind of break this meat up you could take it out on the cutting board and chop if you like, but just like this is fine. Beautiful. Oh yeah. Okay. Now we're gonna plate. Best part. Got a bowl here. I got some accoutrements on the side. I got a lime. I got some diced white onion, and I got some fresh coriander, cilantro. Alrighty. I'm going to take some of that beautiful meat, put it right there, right on top. Beautiful. Now, there's two ways you can serve this. One way that we're going to do, it's going to go right in the bowl, and it's going to be like a stew, consomme kind of style of, of, of entree. Or you can take this meat, chop it, just like we did, and put it in between a taco that's toasted. Really, really nice and simple. You can do a hard taco, a soft taco. So you can do two ways. 
So now we're going to take some of our consomme and ladle some over. Wow, that's beautiful. Look at that, a deep, rich color. Look at that. That is beautiful. Wow, those chilies is just so aromatic. They hit you right in the face. Just like that. Beautiful. Give it a little swirl. And then we're going to finish it off just like they do in Mexico. We got some lime. I'm just going to cut and quarter. Put a couple right here. Tuck them in. I got some onion. It's going to go around right top. Onion is raw. Classic, classic way to finish off a taco or a stew. They do in Mexico. And just we got some cilantro. They were just going to give a quick chop. Beautiful. Kind of put that right on top, just like that. That's going to really give that freshness and break up some of, some of that, you know, dense lamb, that gamey lamb. It's going to give some freshness to that, this dish. Alrighty, and there you have it. Birria style with goat. Delicious, delicious stew. Classic dish in Mexico found in Jalisco or Tijuana. Thank you for watching this week. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow us on Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook. If there's something you want to see in upcoming episodes, comment down below. We'll catch you next time.